Hey guys, Sam here. Today's video is going to be a short demo video of the new electronic scale and powder dispenser from RCBS, the Charge Master Lite. This is a supplement to the full online review that I'm doing on it right now. Uh, to see that review, go over to panhandleprecision.com. Okay, the Charge Master Lite it can be used either with 110 or 220 uh, power sources. It uses a converter to convert that down to 12 volt DC. To do that, there's a bunch of different adapters that snap into the the connector here. Uh, because we're in the US, I'm just going to pick a, a two prong 110 adapter and just line up the arrows and it snaps in place. To take that off, just push this button and it comes right off. Okay, before we get started, before you use your Charge Master Lite, make sure that you warm it up. Now, RCBS recommends 15 to 20 minutes, so let's go ahead and fire it up. Here's the power button. Uh, before, while we're waiting for it to warm up, let's talk a little bit about it. it uh, the Charge Master Lite is an electronic powder scale with a built-in dispenser. So what we're going to do is we're going to input whatever charge weight we want uh, to one-tenth of a grain resolution. And then we can either uh, tell the machine to manually spit the powder out for us into the pan. Or every time we put the empty pan back down on the scale and it zeroes out, it's going to automatically throw that charge. Okay, now that we have the scale all warmed up, we're going to go through a calibration sequence. This is what you have to do uh, before you use it every time. To do that, we need to have the, the scale pan off of it. So we're going to move the dust cover out of the way there. And we're going to start by pushing the calibrate button. So it says C on the left side here, stable and zero. So we need to hit the calibrate button again. Now it wants a 50 gram weight. You'll see that the, the GM down here at the bottom uh, was displayed instead of the grain at the top. Now on top of the machine you have two weights. They're each 50 grams. So we're going to put one of them on the scale here. And as soon as it says stable, we're going to hit calibrate again. Now it needs 100, so we're going to put the other one on. As soon as it stabilizes, we're going to hit calibrate again. Okay, and you notice the another C didn't show up, so we need to take the 100 grams off. and it's going to zero out now. Okay, what it's seeing right now is the weight of this platen or this pan that's sitting on top of the scale as its zero reference. We don't want that obviously, so we're going to take our scale pan, this is what holds the powder, we're going to put it on there and we're going to zero it out. Now the scale's ready to use. Okay, we're all calibrated. The scale is warmed up. We don't have any moving air in the room to mess up the scale, and the temperature is pretty consistent. So let's go ahead and set up a charge. We have it set on manual mode right now. Oops, let me cancel that. We have it set on manual mode right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up for 49 and a half grains of Reloader 26. All we have to do now is hit go. Another thing the scale has is a built-in bubble level right there and the legs screw in and out so that you can adjust this. As soon as it stabilizes, it's going to show you the charge, which number it is in the seat in the sequence. 49 and a half grains. So it's on manual right now. Let me dump this back into the hopper. It's on manual right now, so when you put the scale, the pan back down, nothing will happen. Let's go ahead and change it over to auto, auto mode. I'll show you what that does. As soon as it zeroes out, it'll start throwing another charge.
This scale's been pretty good. The dispenser and scale's been pretty good about not throwing overcharges, but I've had a lot better luck with it if I run a couple of charges first to fill that whole tube up with powder. But the end of the tube is uh, kind of reminds me of a very slow twist rifle barrel with the rifling. It, uh, it has uh, several grooves in it, and as it rotates, it, it kind of trickles that powder out. I'll show you a, a close-up of that real quick. Okay, when you're done having this uh, do auto throws or you just want to take a break or you want to change something or whatever you want to do, to stop the, the auto throw you can just hit cancel and it'll change it back over to manual, but it'll keep the, the same charge weight that you had in it. And then when you want to start doing it again, you just hit the go button. And you can see that changed it right back over to auto again. Okay, about the only thing I have to check the Charge Master light against with is an older RCBS Charge Master 1500. So what I did was I, I compared the two to see if they would throw the same charge weight. Uh, basically what I did was I set each up to throw 49 and a half grains of Reloader 26 and then I would put the charge thrown from one scale onto the pan of the other scale to see how it read. So right now they both have 49 and a half grains in them. I'm going to empty the 1500s, so the scale's zeroed out. I'm going to take the charge from the light, pour it into that pan, it reads 49 and a half. Now I'm going to throw a 49 and a half grain charge with a 1500. If you guys have a 1500, you know that uh, one of the best modifications you can make is putting a chunk of McDonald's straw in the end of the discharge tube there to keep the, the powder from overcharging when it starts trickling. I haven't seen the need to do it yet with the Charge Master Lite. Okay, so here's a 49 and a half grain charge. Let me see if I can pour it in there without upsetting the feed tube. 49 and a half grains. So I could run these two scales uh, next to each other simultaneously and do a big batch of reloading running both scales to double my speed. Okay, I'm going to run both of them side by side now just to give you an idea of, of uh, you know what they sound like, what they look like, how fast they are side by side. I have the Charge Master Lite set up on an auto charge. I'll do a manual charge on the 1500. You can see they're pretty comparable. Okay, when you're done charging for the day or if you just want to empty the hopper and start with a different kind of powder, uh, this valve right here, you just crack it open with your powder tub under it obviously or a funnel or whatever you use and the, the most of the hopper will drain out. You'll have some left over down here in the bottom and they give you this little short brush to brush all the extra kernels out of there. You're going to have to take the, the tube off but it just pops right off. And then clean it all out. You don't want any kind of, uh, you know, you don't want Reloader 26 mixed in with H4350 or something. So uh, it's pretty easy to clean out. All right, guys, that about does it for the Charge Master Lite. Be sure to check out PanAnalPrecision.com for the full review, as well as some more pictures and things like that. I'll put in some details about some of the testing I did with it and talk a little bit more about using it in tandem with the Charge Master 1500. Now I'm getting ready to charge some 260 Terminator cases and start breaking in my new barrel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.